Hi again. Uh, so for some time, I've been thinking of uh, switching from browsers that I use currently. Right now, I'm using Firefox, but I'm having some issues uh, on Ubuntu. In one of my last videos, I had said that I switched to Flatpak, which solved it. But I, I realized that um, once you st once I start opening a lot of different tabs, a lot of windows, maybe 60 or 80 windows, it starts acting weird. I'm a web developer, so I have always have a bunch of windows open. So I've been switch thinking of switching to another version of Chromium um, that's lighter. I came across on Google Chromium, which is Chromium, but detached from Google services, has a lot of privacy benefits based on my understanding. Um, so I'm thinking of installing it and I thought I'd take, you know, you on a journey to walk through the installation process. I've never done it before. I've been doing it for the first time. So you'll be experiencing that with me. And if you're doing the same thing, then hopefully, uh, this video helps. Um, right now I'm on the github page for this we're going to look up the installation instructions i already browsed through this by the way there are a few options it seems i might be able to get like a, a flat a flat pack uh repository thing but i'm not sure i want to use that i was looking at the binary here but i'm also uh not like a most expert in the linux world so I was thinking of maybe looking for some sort of like a, a Debian package or, or something that I might just be able to, to install. Uh, Chrome browser. Wow. 71, what version are we at, at um, now? 129, huh? Yeah, maybe looking in the wrong place. Anyway, let's hit the search. Ungoogled Chromium Ubuntu. Bum bum bum. Let's look at this one. Okay, so this is flat pack, but I'm not looking for a flat pack solution. Uh, Ubuntu PPA. This is interesting. So this would be a repository that I would be able to then auto update the package from whenever I run updates in Ubuntu. I've never seen this before though. Who's this? Oops. Extra devs. Um, must be, uh, contributor extra dev so this is your website we provide you with the Ubuntu tools and games you're looking for if you need it so they provide a bunch of Debian packages okay extra dev application and this is their repository Huh, maybe I should see if there's on Google Chrome here. On Google Chromium version 129. Huh, so they have the updated version. Uh, 668.100. What's the latest version here? Last week, 129. Okay, so this is the current version of on Google Chrome. I think these guys keep it updated. And this was updated on the, will this be October 9th or September 9th? I don't even know. Let's say October 9th, October 9th. And this was updated last week. Today is October 16th. So this was October 8th and they made an update October 9th. So they're pretty quick. Okay, we're gonna go ahead with this repository following this tutorial here. Okay, Control Shift D, open up the terminal, Control Shift V. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, I decided to use um, on Google Chromium because of this video that I saw. I think that you should also watch it because mind your biz. Well, I don't know if that, let's just call it mind your biz. He goes through the process of showing you how to maintain the extensions, how to manage updates for some stuff, and he goes through a bunch of features. And so I think this video would be beneficial to anyone that's thinking of switching to on Google Chrome. Um, I'll link it in the description as well. Okay, so I updated my repository and then what was the other instruction? Install on Google Chromium. Oh, and that's it. Pretty simple. Okay. Unable to locate package. Oh, I need to add the repository. Shoot, sorry, I, I missed that previously. Make sure you install the repository. And enter. Okay, so I'll need to run sudo apt update again to update all of my repository and packaging information. So let's just run that again and we can see it right here now. It was added and now we should be able to install on Google Chromium from their rep repository. Uh, it's being installed and it says Finally, install WebRS dev package by running this command, okay? For choice, also install on Google Chromium driver package for web driver support. Okay, we'll also go ahead and install this as well. On Google Chromium driver. I think this might have something to do with like videos and stuff. I don't remember what it is entirely, but I think it has to do with like uh, videos when you're playing videos and stuff, I think. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. You can Google it yourself. But I came across it at, at some other point and I think it's something that I should have. Um, bum, 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 on Googled. Okay, let's go ahead and install the driver. Bum. Okay, and this is done. And that should be it. Let's see. I'm using two screens. So on my other screen, I'm now viewing the applications windows. I'm searching for, ah, it's there, on Googled Chromium. Let's open it, put it over here. This browser is built, da da da. Look over the sections, which can be accessed. Again, at first run. To install and update extensions, never decaf has created an extension to make this process easy. Enable spell check and other features. Okay, this is cool. And I can immediately start using this. Pages and block by Chromium. Uh, so I need to do this. I, I, need, I need to set this up. Always prompt for install and relaunch. Okay. So I need to do this, relaunch. Okay. And this page by default has the web store, which is currently blocked. I need to change some settings. Uh, however, I won't be showing that in this video because Mind Your Biz goes through those things in his videos, which I, I'll link. But this is just a very simple way to install um, on Google Chrome. I'm not the most genius person. I did it in, in what, I don't know, less than five minutes. So 
hopefully this helps someone i know that there are going to be people that want to to build a binary package and all that stuff good for you um however i think updating the bi the binary package is very much going to be a manual task you're going to have to rerun um the commands again each time to update the binary package so for me using a repository works really well and i'm set up in in less than five minutes and i can immediately start using my on google uh browser uh name not resolved okay maybe i should on second thought maybe i should go through this process uh, test.com duck duck go is it duck or google.com oh it works look at that so you can immediately start using your browser and you go to settings search engine enable dot dot go let's do that settings search engine change ah it was set to no search before that's why it didn't work and now we go to dot dot go set as default and now it should work okay that's it i am now ungoogled <laughs> or i have been ungoogled hmm. well that's not true i'm still connected to a bunch of google services google gmail google drive a bunch of other google stuff and i'll take search console so i'll probably never be truly ungoogled but this is good if you're browsing the web in the daily and don't want all your activities being tracked to then serve you ads later on and then you can only use the services directly that you have to use um like your analytics or your search console or, or those things so this is good and it gets you set up pretty quickly i'm pretty sure you can still set google as your default search engine as well just without the overwhelming amount of tracking that they have going on uh, this is good. Anyway, I'm gonna go play around with it um, Check out this video from mind your biz. I'll link it in the description and you can do what I did to install uh, Google Chrome pretty quickly uh, And shout outs to extra Deb for maintaining this repository so that I could do this in five minutes uh, Thank you for watching